Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 7 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone! This is Miss Tong. Let's keep on reading. The Joke Machine. Previously, Mrs. May finally had time to hear one of the children's jokes. Nadim told her a joke about cows wearing bells. <coughs> Mrs. May clapped her hands. She liked the joke. She talked about help the children day with the children. She asked them to think of ideas that could raise money for this special day. Everyone was thinking hard at Biff and Chip's house. But they only had two ideas so far. Washing cars and toy sale. Chip didn't think Mrs. May would let them wash cars. Wolf said he already gave all his old toys to the last toy sale. These two ideas were no good. <coughs> Nadim came up with an idea about a joke machine. Everyone was excited about this idea. They couldn't wait to tell Mrs. May what the idea was about. Do you want to know? Let's go back to the story. They told Mrs. May what the idea was. It's a joke machine, said Biff. We write jokes on slips of paper, said Chip. Then we put the jokes in a box. The box is the joke machine, said Wolf. Slips are small pieces of paper. Why would the children put the jokes in the joke machine? How could the joke machine raise money? It's a great idea, <laughs> said Nina. People pay for a joke. They gave some money, said Wolf. Then they get a joke from the box. Ah, that was how the joke machine worked. People gave money to buy jokes. <laughs> Look at Wolf's hand. What was he doing? He was rubbing his fingers together to mean money. Do you like this idea? I think it was brilliant. What did Mrs. May think? I think it's a lovely idea, said Mrs. May. But I can see one problem. What's that? Everyone asked. You will need lots and lots of jokes, said Mrs. May. How did the children feel when Mrs. May said that she could see a problem? The children were worried that it was a big problem. It turned out to be not a real problem. Do you find Mrs. May's answer surprising? Did her answer make you smile? Mrs. May was good at telling jokes, wasn't she? <laughs> was the problem Mrs. May saw a real problem? No, it was not. Mrs. May was just joking with the children. 
the joke machine was finished. It's brilliant," <laughs> said Chip. "Look, I finished the poster. A laugh does you good." Red Wolf, do good with a laugh. What do you think the joke machine looked like? I think it looked a bit like Gran. If Gran were a robot. On Chip's poster, look at the sentences in green and blue. A laugh does you good. Does you good means good for your health. A laugh is good for your health. Do good with a laugh. Do good means do good things for others. Chip played with the word good. Do you like his poster? Yes. I like it too. We have put the jokes on the computer. Now we can print them off," said Nadine. And here's the next one. What game do horses play? Stable tennis," laughed Anina. <laughs> Where was Nadine? Yes, he was in the IT room. Why did he put the jokes on the computer? Why didn't he just write them by hand? I think the children wanted the jokes to look neat and good to read. What does this joke mean? A stable is where horses live. What is a stable tennis? Well, there is no such thing. But there is table tennis, 就是乒乓球 Nadine played with the words table and stable. Can you imagine? Horses playing stable tennis with their snouts. It must be a funny game. How many jokes have we got? Asked Wolf. Forty-nine, said Nadine. I wish we had some more. Here is one more for you. Said Mrs. May, "What can fly and has four legs?" <coughs> Mrs. May came by the IT room and gave the children one more joke. Now, how many jokes did they have? Yes, fifty. <coughs> can you think of anything that can fly? And has four legs. I can't. A bird can fly, but it only has two legs. A table has four legs, but a table cannot fly. Oh, I don't know. Do you? What is it? How many jokes? Did the children have? They had fifty jokes. We don't know. They all said, "What can fly and has four legs?" <coughs> Two birds," <coughs> said Mrs. May. Everyone laughed. Oh, I got it. I have a joke too. What can fly and has eight legs? 
<laughs> you are right. Four birds. They took the joke machine to the shopping center. Roll up, roll up! They shouted. Support the children. Buy a joke for fifty pence or more. Why did the children go to the shopping center? Because there were many people. The more people there were, the more jokes the children might be able to sell. Roll up means come. The children shouted and waved. Would people come to buy jokes? How many jokes could they sell? What happened next? Let's find out in the next episode. See you next time. 本节目由喜马拉雅出品。<音楽>